Those are the news stories so far this evening. Time to move on to entertainment. Yes, because Berry born comedian Phil Buckley joins us now to chat about his latest tour, which pokes fun at himself and his chosen career. Now, reading your biog, right. not, not a comedian, a stand-up comedian as we would think, because you're more anecdotal, I believe. So, sort of. Um, it, it's becoming a more common trend in comedy, but it used to be um, build-up, punchline, build-up, punchline, um, whereas I, like a a new niche of comics that are coming out. We just sort of tell stories, um, which is very similar to what sort of Billy Connolly did years ago. And Victoria Ward. Yeah. Sorry, I know. No, I've got no, I fine. love her. So. <laughs> but there's a few of us that um, we just kind of tell true stories. Um, there's, and this show, the whole idea is that I can't lie. I can't get myself out of a, an awkward situation by suddenly writing a, a funny answer to it. I have to use what actually happened. Even if it's not that funny, so obviously you've got I have to, to give make it, it funny yeah, you've with got what to give I've it got. That spin. Very interesting. I just read the Steve Martin autobiography, and he okay. very much says that comedy is a formula, and it's a bit sort of what you're saying is that, yeah. you, that you've got to get to an end of it. So do you do you agree with that or? Do yeah, you just think I well, I studied at Salford Uni, and I did. That's how I got into stand up. I did the stand up module they do, and I got taught you have to have a smile every five seconds a titter every 10 seconds and a big laugh every 30 seconds. And even telling a story, I think that that's still quite a... You, you can take longer to get to a punchline, but it has to be... The ending has to be worth the time you've spent. And yet the name of your tourist joke's not included, it is. isn't it? <laughs> so, <laughs> a bit of a struggle. Yeah. It's an interesting choice, choice of title, Phil, if you don't mind me saying so. It is. Um, I, I like a to think of it as a, a slight marketing mistake. But... <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, the idea is that there's no jokes, it's stories, so it's... Yeah. And, and the, the key to observational comedy or anecdotal comedy is that it still has to be stuff to which the audience can relate. Or is yes. it just the fun... Is it situations that are funny that happen to you uniquely? Or is it those stories where they, they say something and you go, of course, that's happened to me and that's why I find it funny? Um, I, well, the problem is most of my stuff, the stuff that really works, is the stuff that nobody would ever get themselves into those situations. Because I'm quite well known for being an idiot. I, I agree to do things and then end up having to go through with them and making a complete fool of myself. For example? Um, I had a bet with my girlfriend um, that I would jump off the Sky Tower in Auckland, which is 192 metres, and they attach a steel cable and push you off. I don't think that's very funny, but go on. Um, I'm sure there is a funny end to this. Oh, the, well, <laughs> it, it kind of was. In it, The ending is that I survived, but, <laughs> yeah. which, is, which is a nice oh. ending. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, it, it's that sort of thing. I, I used to write a lot of material about being drunk, but I don't really drink anymore, so... It's you are making this a tough job you to yourself. I do. I know. Yourself, so so now I have to... Jokes, but I, I went travelling and the kind of shows about the, the stupid situation that I got myself into while I was travelling. Very quickly, we've run out of time. Where can okay. people see you and where are you on at? What um, dates? I'm on at the Lowry on Sunday the 21st of March and you can get tickets from their website. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Good luck, you. Very much. Good luck with it.